Hey everybody, this is Jason Rowe with Primitive Life Training and today we're going to be discussing instinctive shooting uh, with bow and arrow. Uh, I want to say a few things first about bow safety. I'm sure most of you who shoot bows already know uh, pretty much the same basic principles applies with a bow as with a gun. Don't ever aim it at something you don't want to kill. Uh, you know, keep it pointed in a safe direction when you're drawing. Never, ever, under any circumstances, ever dry fire a recurve bow, a compound bow, uh, any kind of bow. <laughs> Never, ever, ever shoot a bow without an arrow in it or dry fire it. Uh, it can and probably will splinter the uh, bow, uh, break the string. Uh, cause multiple lacerations to your face, things like that. So when you're shooting a bow, uh, if, you, if you're if you not an experienced bow uh, archer, uh, bow shooter, whatever, uh, get someone to uh, give you a, a couple of pointers or uh, lessons, however you want to say it, uh, kind of show you, you know, the basic steps to shooting a bow. And in this video, I'm going to uh, go through uh, some of that especially for uh, instinctive shooting which is what I do um, I can shoot both left-handed and right-handed but most of the bows that I got during my life have always been right-handed bows so I'm more accustomed to shooting right-handed however I'm left eye dominant so uh, Instinctive shooting works better for me than trying to aim when it, when it comes to a recurve. Uh, compound bows, you have a peep sight and a sight down there to look at. Uh, if you'll notice, on my bow, there is no sight. Uh, about the only thing I got, since this is my dad's old bow, is I don't know if you can actually, yeah, you can see it right there. There's a line right there that he marked. That's 20 yards. And basically, you just put that line even with your target. And at 20 yards, you should hit pretty much dead on. However, I shoot with both my eyes open, and I anticipate where that arrow is going. Is flying to once it comes off of the uh, rest there instinctive shooting takes a lot of time to learn how to do it takes a lot of practice and basically what you want to do is, is you want to practice in steps uh, learn your bow how it shoots uh, how hard it is to draw back uh, how long you can draw back and hold it. Uh, another part of this video we're going to be talking about is draw and release shooting uh, or draw and release in, uh, instinctive shooting where you not only aim instinctively but you draw and release very quickly uh, taking no time to aim. Um, I was told one time by an old man that when you just throw up, whether it be a gun or a bow or whatever, if you just draw and, and fire, you're instinctively dead on target. If you don't waste any time pulling your shot off, more than likely uh, you're going to hit if you're trying to shoot fast. Like if you're trying to shoot a deer on the run, it's just almost impossible to take aim, especially through a scope where your, your view is severely limited <clears throat> however if you learn how to shoot off the side of that gun and that's something some of these old timers can tell y'all about uh, you learn to sight your gun off the side of your gun you know where that gun shoots if you're looking down the side of that gun uh, you can lead that deer and possibly pull off a shot you know with it hauling butt across the field I'm not saying that that's going to help you be a better shot on anything, but for me and 
for a lot of the Native American Indians, both past and present. Instinctive shooting is is the way to go. Uh, you, you learn when you release that arrow, this is how it flies off of my bow. I was so much above the arrow when I was aiming. Uh, and you, you take note of all those things mentally. And each time you, you try to picture where that arrow is going. I don't know who wrote it, but there's a good book called uh, Be the Arrow or uh, Become the Arrow or something like that. But it, that's basically what you want to do. You want to, it's just like with martial arts. The uh, senseis will tell you, uh, you know, imagine the whole entire fight before you actually do it. And, and go into that fight, fighting just as you imagined the fight would go. And that's pretty much how you want to shoot instinctively. Figure out where your bow is shooting when you aim in a certain spot. If you're shooting with a compound bow, I mean, it, it's as easy as sighting your uh, sight in and uh, knowing how to judge your yards and stuff. But with recurve, no sights, instinctive shooting, uh, and shooting instinctively off the draw the way that I do, uh, it takes practice. And what I did uh, to start out uh, shooting instinctively, I would I, I would pick a, a small target, say a limb or a walnut or a leaf or a, a coke bottle or something any something small and I, and I would get about five to five to ten yards from that and I would just draw and shoot and try to aim instinctively you know pick where my arrow is gonna go and if I was wrong then I would adjust how I drawed and aimed oh until I got to where I was hitting that target right where I was aiming at every time and then I would step it up another five yards to 15 yards and do the same thing and, and just repeat that process and even today I've been shooting for 35 years I guess since I was five years old I got my first bow my dad made for me out of a hedge tree but to me, I was an Indian, and, and so since I was five, I'm 41 now, so 35, 36 years. Uh, I still will begin my practice that way. Uh, I will pick a, a small target, such as a limb or something like that, laying on the ground, and I will shoot at it. Uh, until I'm hitting it consistently, and then I'll step my yardage up by fives and by doing that you train yourself basically to shoot instinctively you get to the point to where you realize before you ever even put that arrow up where it's going to go another thing that helps whether you're shooting a bow or throwing a knife even if you're if you're doing something like that instinctively oh um, when you put your eyes on that target, you don't move your eye from that target. Just like when playing baseball, they always tell you when you're batting, keep your eye on the ball. Okay, well when you're shooting a bow instinctively, keep your eye on that target. Another point, and I've heard I, I've heard this all my life. I know you have. If you're any uh, type of sportsman where hunting is concerned, aim small, miss small. That is definite truth, especially at higher yardage. When you start getting out there 45, 50 yards, you better be able to aim small because your target's going to appear small. It's going to, uh, it's going to be more of a judgmental shot for sure uh, at that yardage, even at 25 yards. Uh, when I go to put an arrow through a deer, 
I will imagine, you know, some little small spot about that big right where I need to hit that deer. And I don't take my eyes off of that one spot. I don't even look at the rest of the deer. You wouldn't be surprised how well that actually helps with buck fever too. Um, pick that spot, keep that spot in your eye, just stare at it. Let that be, let that vision around it. You know how if you stare at something for so long, everything else around it just sort of seems to disappear. Well, let that be the way that you aim instinctively. As far as anything else is concerned, your main thing is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Every day, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, however long you want to take, practice that. Oh, get creative with your practice. Get you some rings and have someone roll them out across there and try to shoot it going on the run. Oh, you know, and, and try to make your arrow through the ring. Oh, any kind of obstacle that you can put in front of yourself to make yourself a better instinctive shooter that's what I would do uh, I, I've, I've done it uh, many a times lay down in a, a corn patch laying on my side and draw <laughs> and shoot off my back and yes I missed but to be able to draw and shoot that way was very hard and so I, I, I kind of understood that and I realized that you know I needed to practice things like that so I would I would take practice shots kneeling down or bending over like I was shooting underneath some brush or something like that um, anything that you can do to make yourself better do it and, and that's basically all there is to uh, instinctive shooting it's not something that you're born with. No one is. First thing, you got to learn how to shoot a bow. And then second of all, you can you can begin to train your eye and your mind as to where that arrow is going and make it go where you've picked that spot out on your target. And it just comes with practice. But anyway, I'm going to... Uh, do a few demonstration shots for you. Um, demonstrate uh, drawing and releasing. First thing you have to do though, before you can just learn to draw and release like that and actually hit your target, you, know, you can either practice that every time you shoot or you know, uh, learn to hit your target instinctively first and then start taking faster you know, release shots everything in moderation and learning isn't excluded from that so uh, just like with anything in life piano lessons whatever you, you got to practice at it to be good at it so instinctive shooting is basically the same way it's hard at first but you know it depends on how much determination you have and how much willpower you have to push yourself to learn this uh, I would I would highly suggest uh, learning this skill uh, whether we have a, a worldwide disaster or whatever you know uh, you happen to get lost and be in a survival situation whatever uh, this will definitely help you hunt both small and large game large game will be a breeze you know, moose elk things like that that you can stop within 20 yards of that'll be a breeze um, but when you're shooting at rabbits squirrels things like that little critters that move fast um, it will help you out a whole lot because um, you won't just have to limit yourself to shooting at them um, with it sitting still you can you know maybe even take it you know at full run uh, shoot a squirrel off the side of a tree right after it jumps on it you know 
things like that they they take practice and so uh, get out there with your bow get you a target whatever a can anything and start out at five yards and get to where you know hitting it is nothing you hit it every shot and then step it up to 10 yards repeat that process step it up 15 yards repeat that process step it up 25 yards 30 yards oh, about 50 yards with a recurve bow kind of stretching it out you can get longer shots with certain bows like long bows you can maybe pull off 80 and 90 yard shots but oh, 50 yards is is pretty much stretching it so you know instinctively you can shoot up to say 30 yards accurately after that you you better kind of slow down and take aim a little bit and what I normally do on long shots 40 45 yards I'll draw back and aim at it and if I'm not satisfied with that's where I need to aim I'll let my draw back down and I'll look back at my target again I'll draw back and aim at it again and then let it down. I'll do that two or three times before I actually draw back and take my shot if it's that far away. So um, the instinctive shooting and the shooting off the draw, uh, I, I usually limit it to about 30 yards. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope y'all go out here and try this out. Feel free to post your own videos on the group. Uh, if you're in the group on Facebook, Primitive Life Training, uh, share those uh, videos with us or your pictures, uh, and just you know learn this skill because you know if you ever wind up in a hard time or anything in a survival situation, it's gonna come in handy. Anyway, this is Jason Roten uh, with Primitive Life Training. I'm Jason Roten. This is Primitive Life Training.